Hello, this is Rob. I hope you're well and welcome to this video where we're going to look at menus for WordPress. Now, what are menus? Well, they're very powerful, they're very point and click, they're very easy to do, but not many people actually are uh, tend to be aware of them, particularly when they start out. So, hence I wanted to make this video to make you aware and show you how you can use this for yourself. Basically, menus uh, in their simplest form allow you to choose what you would like displayed in this area here. This is called the horizontal navigation bar, okay, inside WordPress. And you can see at the moment we're here on this test site. Uh, this is nothing special here at all, it's just uh, uh, a site I use for testing different things and plugins and new things I'm trying out and also for demonstrations like this. Um, so it doesn't look very pretty, but um, what we'll see in this video is, is, is important information that you can use for your own website. Okay, So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to actually um, set up some pages, Okay, just some blank pages, and just look at how we can get those pages uh, to be displayed on this navigation bar. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is log into uh, WordPress here. So I'll go into the uh, admin panel and we're going to go to pages and all pages. Okay, So you can see we've got a couple here, we'll leave those as they are, uh, they're just junk really but we'll leave them as they are uh, and first thing we'll do is click on add new and we'll add a very common page that you see of course is called about. So we'll put an about page there and I'm going to go ahead and publish this right away. Okay. We won't worry about putting anything in this page, we look at that elsewhere and that's pretty straightforward. But this is just really an example um, and, and for that example we need some pages set up. So let's go back to all pages. You can see now we've got our about page we've added. Let's add another one, we'll call this um, contact, Okay, another very commonly page you see uh, around the web on different sites. We'll publish this again. Okay, go back to all pages. Great, so we've got our about and contact now. Let's add another page. Click on add new. And we're going to call this, let's call it training. Okay, uh, and we'll click publish. All right, and we're going to add yes and oh, publish again. There we go, that's better. We'll add yet another page. Okay, and we'll call this uh, module one. All right, you'll see the relevance of this in a moment. I'm going to publish this page and add new again, and we're going to add another page which is called module two and publish that. So let's just go back to all pages and have a look at what we've added. We've added about, contact, module one, module two, and training. All right, so if we go back to our website first of all. You can see, look, all of these pages now are, by default, all of the pages are displayed. Now, it may be sometimes that you want to hide a particular page, maybe your thank you page, for example, after people sign up for your uh, newsletter, or maybe you have pages that you want to direct people to in your autoresponder sequence, okay? So maybe you have a video or something, and you only want people to see that when they get the email from your autoresponder sequence. You don't want people to be able to click on it uh, directly as an option on this horizontal navigation bar when they visit your website. So in other words, long story short, what we can do is just choose what options we want displayed here. Okay, That's what we're going to do next and that's what menus are all about. So to do that, let's go back to the admin panel and menus are accessible in appearance and menus. Okay, so appearance and menus. I'm going to click there, and you can see um, by default it gives you a bit of instruction on what to do. But I'm going to walk you through how to create these. The first thing that we need is we need to um, basically uh, come over to the right hand side and click create menu. Okay, and then give it um, a name. So I'm going to type in um, navbar. Okay, you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call it navbar for navigation bar. And I'm going to click on create menu. Okay, and there we go. And you can see you get some more options now that become available. So 
it says here your theme supports one menu. Now most themes support menus now nowadays. You might find themes that don't, in which case you can't use what I'm about to show you, but most themes do. So um, you know, if you're in that situation, maybe think about choosing a different theme uh, for your website. But what we can do here is drop this down under primary navigation and choose navbar. That's the menu we just created. So I'll select that, okay, and click save. Excellent. Now the next thing to do is to choose what we want to be displayed on the nav bar, okay, on this menu. Well, we've got various options here. The first thing that we want to do is we want to add the uh, pages that we created. So if I look down here, you can see under pages, we have module one, module two, uh, training, all the different pages. So let's choose the ones that we want to be displayed. I'm just going to check these boxes, okay. And we don't really want these other two that were there already. I don't want to display those, okay? So just this top lot. And I'm going to click on Add to Menu. And there we go, they get displayed. So next thing, I'm going to click Save Menu. And let's go back to our website. So remember, this is how it looks at the moment. We've got all these pages listed. Let's just refresh and see what effect that's had. Okay. So it's changed. We now have module two, module one, training, about, and uh, sorry, contact and about. What I'd like to do first of all is just reorder this menu. Okay, so I want about first, and then contact, then training. Okay, so let's let's just go back. And the really great thing about menus is you can just drag and drop. So I want about to be displayed first. So I put my cursor over about here, hold the left mouse button down drag and drop okay that's all you have to do so we can do it again left mouse button down drag and release the left mouse button okay and also we'll put training third okay there we go and we'll click save menu again it's easy to forget that so you need to click save menu let's go back to our site and refresh and have a look Excellent, and you can see we've reordered this. So at this point, you now know how to display any page on your website that you'd like, any page at all, um, uh, and uh, basically uh, reorder that. Okay, reorder those pages. But you can also do other things with me um, with menus. So let's say that module one and module two. Let's say these are actually training modules in this training section. So would it be quite good is if we could actually um, have these module one and module two options sort of on a drop down menu below training. Okay. And we can do that very easily. Again, if we go back, all we have to do is let's reorder them first of all. So I'm going to put this one up here. Okay. So we've got training, module one, module two. And what I'd like to do is make module one um, a, a sort of uh, sub option if you like under training so all I need to do is, is put my mouse over module 1 hold the left mouse button down drag to the right and release and you can see that module 1 now becomes indented okay I can do the same for module 2 so I'm just dragging and dropping okay and then we'll click Save menu and then let's have a look what happens we'll refresh the page Okay, so look, now we've just got three menus. We've got about, we've got contact, but look what happens when I put the mouse over training. There we go, we've got two uh, sort of sub-modules or sub-options, if you like, of the training category. So you can see, uh, hopefully, that you can really create menus in any with any options you want on them and you can also have sub menus as well okay these nice drop down things it's easy to get carried away with this so i wouldn't go too far but at least you know how to do it okay because in some situations it can be really useful now there's one final thing that i'd like to show you um, and that is how to add custom links to your uh, menu now at the moment, all of these, of course, point to different pages. So if we go to training and module one, okay, we'll get taken to our module one page. Of course, there's nothing on it at the moment because we didn't put anything on it, but that's how it works. Same with contact, uh, same with about, and so on. Okay, what we'd like to do though 
is um, add actually um, a home page link. Okay, so the first option could be home, and when we click on that, it takes us back to the main website. Now, in this case, my website is Rob's Test Site Example .com. So what I can do is actually put the mouse in here and highlight that. Okay, right click and copy. All right, so I've copied that main. Uh, the main address of my website, okay, which is just Rob's test site example.com. And we can go back to menus, and what I can do is add a custom link here, okay. So, first of all, if I just delete this, okay, and I'm just going to paste this in. So, this is the actual link to my website. So, you can see it says http colon forward slash forward slash Rob's test site example.com. Now I've pasted that in, obviously if you want to you can type it in manually, that's absolutely fine. What I'd like to do is call this home, um, and I'm going to have this just like that, home, okay? And then I'll click add to menu, okay? And you can see home now has been added here, alright? What we really want is home to be the first option, so again, just like we did before, I can drag this up and release, and then click save menu. Okay, and let's go back here and we'll refresh. There we go. So now we've got all our existing options, but we've also got a home link. Okay, and there we go. And that will go to the home page of the website. Now you can see, hopefully, that what I've done there is I've added a custom link called home and I selected the URL. So if you wanted to uh, add a link to another website or uh, your membership site or a product of yours or anything like that, then um, you can do that as well. So for example, if I wanted to link to cnn.com, okay, for some reason, you probably wouldn't, um, but you could do, and I could put CNN there, okay? Uh, let's add to menu, all right? We'll save the menu and go back, have a look. So now we've got a link here to cnn.com. So let's go um, and go to this, uh, click on this and see what happens. And here we go, we're right through to CNN. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. So I hope you can see that <clears throat> basically you can add whatever you like on this menu. It's really customizable, it's a great thing to uh, know about and you can do this just in a few minutes. So there you go, that completes this video on WordPress menus. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.